Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. In this video, I'm gonna be changing the serpentine belt on the 2020 Silverado. I thought I would make this video because it got a little more complex now that I have to change a couple of other parts. I'm gonna also be changing the AC belt. It comes with this tool, we'll see how that goes. And then the dealer recommends for you to change this pulley because this belt is a stretch belt, meaning there's no tensioner pulley. They want you to change this out, so I guess we'll do that as well. I did get all of this from the dealer and I'll leave the part numbers down below in the description as well as any tools that I feel that are useful. This ended up costing $246 with 67 cents and we'll see how hard or how easy this job is and let's get to it. So before we get the video started, I thought I'll let you know all the tools that I used to uh, replace the stretch belt. You're gonna need a half inch ratchet, flathead screwdriver, uh, some zip ties, you'll see why later and then some uh, <clears throat> some cutters three eighths ratchet um a little extension and then this is a half inch torque wrench these are the tools i got from amazon i'll leave the link below and then this is a tool that came with uh with a kit from the dealer the three sockets you will need will be a 13 millimeter a short 15 if you're changing the pulley and a 24 to turn over the engine So as you guys can hear, that's why I'm replacing the serpentine belt. It's squealing, it gets awfully annoying, and there's actually a little tear. I'll show you that once I take it off. So just a little tip, before you guys wanna change the serpentine belt, you guys wanna make sure that it is the actual belt and not a, a pulley that is worn out. So what you guys can do is spray a little water on the belt, turn the truck on, turn the vehicle on, and uh, if it stops to squeal, then it's the belt. If it doesn't, then it's probably a worn out pulley. So as you guys can hear right there, it's squealing. I'm gonna spray a little water and uh, see if it stops the, the squealing. Preferably on the side where the pulley is, not where the alternator is. So we spraying the belt, you see, it's completely gone. There's no more squeal, and in a little bit, it'll start squealing again. So yeah, it's the belt, definitely, and might as well change that little pulley right there. And there, it came back. That's how you check, all right? All right so the first thing we're gonna do is just take this uh, snorkel off by loosening this up here, and then taking this clip out. You gotta love these clips, huh? We'll push that back a little. And press down on the black one, and there you go. Let's get this out of the way before we can do that. And then we're gonna disconnect this line over here. Push the gray clip in, and then pull. Okay. Next thing is we wanna unscrew this from the throttle body right here. You don't have to completely remove this. You can just move it out the way like that. That's the water I sprayed here right now. Here we're gonna just be removing this cover here. It's a four bolts, 13 millimeter, where we can have access to the AC belt and all the harmonic balancer. Here. We're gonna remove the serpentine belt now. You can just cut it right here. It's your preference. Cut it, or you can take this pulley out. I'm changing this pulley out anyway, so I'm just gonna take it off this way. As you can see, look right here. This is where it was already torn, getting torn. So I'm just gonna. <clears throat> this is a 15 millimeter right here. is right there then here's the belt all right so here's the belt there's a couple of areas where it was starting to fray for example right there it's starting to come apart here's another area so what happens is that these are stretch belts and they definitely do not last forever they start losing the stretch and then you need to replace it because it starts squealing so there's the the damaged area that i was talking about here is the new belt if you guys want to take a screenshot this is a part number right here next up here's the pulley the new pulley this is the part number right there and it's also right here if 
you want to take a picture of that and this is the part number for the ac belt and it comes with a special tool already so i didn't mention that but here it is right there so our next thing we're going to do is take off the ac belt and it actually says to cut it this one's not that bad but it's still a little crunchy and it looks like it wouldn't have lasted much anyways if you can see there it's already starting to to fray and come apart this is an instruction that came in the box if you can read espanol or francais and i guess uh people that read english uh can't change it because they don't put it and here's the back what i'm doing here is putting the belt behind the harmonic balancer if i can fit it on to the ac pulley first all right so this is how i have it staged for now put the new belt on the ac pulley and then with that tool you you put it behind the the belt and it grabs on to the to the harmonic balancer right there so you see i tucked it in under there and then now we're gonna get a wrench and uh, turn the the balancer over for it can get on there all right so hopefully you can see this good i'm gonna go down below with the 24 millimeter and try to spin the, the harmonic balancer for that can that belt can slide on we'll see how if that works Looks good on that side, but over here it's getting crinkled up pretty badly. So, Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, we don't want that. Let's go back a little. All right, so as you saw, I just kept spinning the bottom, the bottom uh, harmonic balancer until it, the belt went on. And if it's going on a little, sideways then reverse go back go like this and then go front again and then it goes on once it spins it was turning and at the same time it was going on the belt and then at the end when it hits the bottom it just falls out because the belt goes all the way on there okay then you want to make sure you give it a a couple extra spins to make sure that it's seated nice the whole way on the both sides of the pulleys and uh and there it is on right there with that tool as you can see now we're going to put this pulley back in here <laughs> tighten this up as much as you want without stripping it until you hear the click click there it is nice and tight click spinning nice yes very nice all right so if you can see here i ended up doing the zip tight trick because uh it's just so ridiculous complicated i don't know why they couldn't put a tension or pulley on that top one they're just overdoing it for you guys can take it in spend the money but i'm not gonna give up i took a little break so i'm back now it's getting a little dark now but as you can see i put three zip ties and it's all good on here ready to go for me to start start the engine just enough for the belt can slip on originally i was gonna do it by hand but it didn't work so i tried this two times and then it slipped right on i also tried the tool it's a pain in the ass so i did this instead yeah To have my dad help me. That's how stupid a design is. Piece of junk. <laughs> Shout out to the engineer's mom, my dad said. <laughs> a couple of zip ties later, 
probably tried it like two to three times until it until it worked but there it is all right everyone so it's the next morning i'm going to finish putting this back on putting the plate on the bottom and i'll show you how the bell is looking here so everything looks good everything's seated nicely and everything is spinning properly nice and straight you can see both belts are on now and i'm going to put this back real quick That ain't going anywhere. All right, as you guys can hear, it sounds beautiful now. Finally, no more squealing. Don't mind the filth, I know. I gotta get this detailed and clean, but there it is. Beautiful. Right, so as you guys seen I was only successful using the tool that came from the dealer to put the AC belt on I ended up doing the zip tie method to put the bell back on because I tried these tools that I got from Amazon the installer and removal kit I'll put them down in the link in the description because I don't know it might work for you it didn't work for me so that's why I did it that way of the zip tie um, you know I've never heard of anybody needing to put zip ties uh, on a stretch belt to put it on to the pulley so, I mean, this is completely new from a scale of one to 10 of how hard the job was. I mean, it, it was more frustrating than anything, but I would give it a, you know, a five or a six. You know, it's, you can get it done. Uh, you just have to have patience. But I will say the tool that came from the dealer for the AC belt, it worked fantastically. This one did work and it comes with the kit. I left the part number in the description. So yeah, this worked out. I'll leave these in the link just in case if they might work for you, but, um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Leave it down in the comment section. And, and before I end this video, I wanna give a huge shout out to all the guys that have been commenting on the channel. This channel is very new and I appreciate all the comments and all the experiences, all the questions. And, and there's some guys that know that know what they're talking about. There's some that don't, but, but thank you guys for commenting. Shout out to you guys. And uh, we're gonna keep making some of these videos. I have a couple coming up. The next one is gonna be how to um, reprogram your tire pressure sensors uh, because I'm gonna be rotating them. So I, I have a tool on the way for that. And then we're still getting to the transmission video. Uh, I'm debating, I'm still, you know, I still haven't done it because this truck is a 2020, like, you know, and it's still under manufacturer warranty. It's still, it's still, you know, only three years old. So I, I'm trying to see, I'm trying to do it. And I know that it needs to be done, but I haven't done it because of that reason, you know, I don't want to avoid any type of warranty or anything like that. But uh, I have a couple of videos lined up. I have one on the red truck. So you guys stay tuned for that. I appreciate for you guys uh, staying to the end of the video and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Also, the, I would let you guys know the check engine did come on because the reason that everything was disconnected, the snorkel, the sensor, um, the, the EVAP line, it was all disconnected. And when I put on the, the belt and I turned it on with everything disconnected, it, it uh, probably threw this code up, but just drive it around for a couple of miles, let it think for itself again, and uh, we should be good. It should turn off right now in a little bit. So don't worry about it, here it is. I drove like about what? 30 miles, turn it on and off a couple of times, drive it around. The check engine light went off, just how I had said. Everything's perfect, there it is. Because this serpent, this, because this serpentine belt is just, I love the airplane. Hopefully annoying, and there's actually a little tear, so, and there's actually a little tear. I got, all this, I got all this from the dealer, 